what's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to Midnight Tutorial. So dramatic. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record gameplay off of your PlayStation 4. No capture card required. Yes, you can make a good gameplay YouTube video without a capture card. So the basic thing you're going to need for this to work is a PlayStation 4. Like, I have mine hooked up right over there already, set to go. That's really the only thing you need for this video. Now some extra things I'm going to go through in this video that'll make it even better for you to have is, for one, to have a flash drive. So that way you can take the files off your PlayStation, put them on here, and then put them on a computer, which I have right here. It's excellent to have a laptop or computer, desktop, whatever you have, especially if it has some editing software on it, which uh, I left a bunch of editing softwares you can use in the description below check those out some of them are free some of them are not but you'll have more control how your video turns out if you have one and on top of all that if you want to do the face cam commentary kind of deal you might want to have a webcam or an actual camera that records your face and even a microphone so yeah nothing too crazy a lot of you guys have this stuff already but if you're really like bare bones then just a, a PlayStation 4 is fine so to get things started you want to head to your PlayStation and if you're not trying to record or commentary using the PS4, then you can ignore this next step. So if you're using a USB mic or a headset or the PlayStation camera audio, then what you're gonna wanna do is pull in the share menu and then go to sharing and broadcast settings. Select that and then you'll be taken to another page where you will select audio sharing settings and then within that you will see include mic audio. And when you select this, you'll be able to have your commentary be overlaid with your gameplay. Now, sometimes that audio is a little bit soft. So what you're gonna to wanna to do next is go over to settings, then go over into devices, audio devices go to microphone level and you're gonna to want to adjust that dial about all the way up so that way your voice audio is over the gameplay so that you can be heard clearly now that you're all set to go you can go into a game I chose to play 2k because it's the basketball season you got Warriors and Cavs going up against each other it's super exciting stuff so I decided to play them against each other for my gameplay and I want to start recording it so to record I need to look at my controller and double tap the share button when I do that you'll see a little pop pop-up message on screen that lets me know that I'm recording my gameplay now. So I can just do my thing, you know, play the basketball game for a little bit, get some gameplay footage, really cool, fun. And then when I'm done recording, I can double tap that share button again and it will stop my recording as you can see on the screen. So now you got your gameplay recorded, you gotta put these files somewhere. So an excellent app that I recommend you guys download that is completely free off the PlayStation Store is called Share Factory. This application allows you to edit the videos that you recorded with a bunch of overlays and music, an assortment of different things. Like I can go in more detail of how to use this app. If you guys want me to, let me know in the comments below and I can, but this is an excellent free tool that you can use on your PlayStation to let you edit your videos and then upload them straight to YouTube or anywhere you want for that matter. If you want to edit that gameplay you have on your computer with the editing software you have, you want to be able to put it on a flash drive. Now when I was first trying to figure out how to get the gameplay onto my flash drive, I was getting a lot of errors that actually prohibited me from getting the gameplay off of the PS4 onto the flash drive. So it turned out I had to format the flash drive, so I would recommend to you guys to back up your drive before you go through with this process because it will erase all your data. So what I had to do was go into my settings, go to the, the devices, go to USB storages, and then select the drive that I had just put into the PlayStation. After that, I need to press options, and I need to format this drive as an EX FAT drive. So once I do that, it erases all the data on the drive, so that's what I'm saying, make sure you back up, because doing this allows the drive to get those gameplay files. Now that I have my flash drive formatted correctly, I can now go into my library and find the application called Capture Gallery. Here it has all the gameplay that I have recorded on multiple games and I can look for the gameplay that I want to be carried over to the flash drive. So once I find that, I wanna go into my options and then go to copy to USB storage device. After I select all the files I want carried over to the flash drive, I just select copy and then the next page shows me the pathing of the folders on the flash drive and then I can just select OK from there. And now I just wait for the files to get transferred over to the drive. Once the files are completely transferred to the USB drive, I can remove it from the PlayStation 4 and then I can move it over to my computer. From there, we just want to find a folder that we can drag those files we got from the PS4 to the flash drive over to the computer. 
And now that I have the files on my own computer, I can put them in the Sony Vegas if I want, which is the main editing software I use personally for my videos. Or if I'm really feeling courageous, I can use something like Google Drive, so that way I can access the video files on my tablet or mobile phone and use editing apps on there. Personally, with all the editing options I listed for you guys, I like the computer editing tool the best because that way you have more control over how your video turns out and you can upload it straight to YouTube using the computer so that way you can add all those annotations and end screen elements or cards that you want really easily and it's really straightforward from there. Editing on an app I feel is just kind of limited and, and it's just kind of difficult. You're like, you're, looking, you're trying to edit a video on a small screen but I mean, if that's all you have, it, it works but it's not the most efficient thing. Using editing software on a computer allows you to edit your commentary from the microphone Phone as well as the face cam. So that's the end of this video guys. Hopefully you're able to learn how to take a PS4 video that you record just within the PlayStation, no capture card, and take that to a flash drive or share factory or to your computer to be able to edit. Now, depending on the editing software, you're gonna have to learn the, the skills needed to, to operate the editing software. It depends on what you wanna use. If you're interested in learning how to put a face cam together with your gameplay, I made a video a while ago that teaches you how to overlay those and how to sync those together. So click the link in description below check out that video because I went in detail on how to do that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Helps me out a ton. Share it around. If it helped you out, it helps me out that you got some help. Real quick, big shout out to Iconics. I'm going to leave his Twitter link description below as well. He helped me build a new banner and it looks really epic. Here's the speed art for it as you can see. I just love it and I was looking at making a new banner eventually, but he just did the work for me. I can be a little lazy. So if you subs want to make me stuff and send it to me and, and I like it, your stuff could get featured in the videos or on my banners or, you know, you know whatever, wherever. You get what I'm saying. So thank you. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.